welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing my college dorm tour for my third year of college here in the city. I love doing these videos for you guys because I think it's really fun to see how other people decorate their dorms. I know I love watching dorm tours, but I think it's also helpful to see what people bring, what kind of storage they're doing, and what you might need if you're going to college, how to organize stuff in small spaces and stuff like that. So some of the stuff you are gonna recognize from last year's dorm tour or the dorm tour before that when I was a freshman going to school here in the city, but some of the stuff is new. I have some new organization tips and tricks to share with you guys. But other than that, I'm just gonna walk you guys through my dorm just for fun. I love documenting this for myself as well to see just my dorms throughout the years and how my style has changed and just to remember how I decorated stuff for like years to come. Just to make a quick disclaimer regarding where I go to school and stuff like that, if you guys have been with me a while, you know I like to keep that part of my life private. Maybe one day I will do like a college reveal and experience video when I am graduating or after I graduated. If you guys figure it out, that's okay. I'm just really not the one to like put it out there. It's just a part of my life that I like to keep separate from YouTube and off of the internet and private to myself. But I still wanna show you guys my dorm and how I organize everything and just how I'm living here in the city. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and make sure you guys subscribe before you leave. And let's just go ahead and get started into this dorm tour. Here's a little bit of an overview when you first walk in. I'm gonna be starting to the right of the door right here. We have a little coat rack where you could hang your coats. Me and my roommate are just using this to hang bags and umbrellas. Also, I wanna apologize if it is a little bit echoey. I do have my microphone like right next to my mouth. So I'm hoping that it's not too echoey and you guys can hear me okay. But I just have this little bag. I got this for Christmas for my cousin a few years ago. I'm not exactly sure where that is from, the Be Your Best Selfie. And then also I have my Trader Joe's bag that I take when I go grocery shopping. Of course, the obligatory bag full of plastic bags. So moving down underneath the coat rack is some more kitchen stuff, just the garbage can, extra water bottles, extra garbage bags. And then in this bag right here, I just keep some bottles and recyclables. So let's just start off to the right right here in the kitchen. It's a really small and basic kitchen, but honestly, just for me and my roommate, it's been working out really well and it's perfect. Last year, I had the same size kitchen and it was a little bit small, but I was living with two other people. So there was three of us total, but I've been loving this for just the two of us. It's really cute and convenient. I love being able to cook. I love to cook instead of having my meal plan. So just the stove. These are some really cute dish towels. The, I know the middle ones for sure are from Target. I will link everything that I can down below. Moving on a little closer to the appliances. This is my Keurig, AKA the love of my life. You guys know I can't live without coffee. And this is just a single serve one. I believe that this is the smallest version of a Keurig that they do make. So it's really perfect for a dorm. Even if you live in a traditional dorm and you are allowed to have coffee makers and stuff like that. I know when I lived in a traditional dorm, meaning it's just a bed, no kitchen, you're required to have a meal plan. We weren't allowed to have any coffee makers or hot plates or anything like that. But I definitely would say either if you're in any type of small space, the single serve Keurig is really nice. It doesn't take up that much room. Then we just have our toaster. I know my roommate said she got it from Walmart for like $8 or something really cheap. And then here is just the rest of our countertop, sink, paper towel. I want to show you guys this. If you guys have to do your dishes and you don't like holding a sponge like me, I've been absolutely loving this. I believe this is by the brand Scotch Bright. I got it from Target. I will link it down below. You just fill up the handle with dish soap and then when you press the button, dish soap comes out and you could wash your dishes. So definitely a great hack if you guys have to wash dishes a lot and you don't want to touch the sponge like me. This has been awesome. So just moving up a little here is the microwave and then I'll show you guys some of our cabinets. They aren't the most organized, but we don't have a lot of space, so everything is kind of just crammed. So here we just have like coffee, some condiments, spices. I have my sriracha back there, of course. Salt, pepper, you guys, I just tried this this morning for the first time. I got this from Trader Joe's. The everything but the bagel seasoning is so good. It's basically just like everything that's on an everything bagel, but in a jar. So good. I had this on avocado toast and it was absolutely amazing. And then just moving up here, we just have like Tupperware straws, to-go cups, and then all the way at the top, extra paper towels, coffee cups, and extra napkins. Seriously, when you guys are in a dorm, you just have to fit stuff anywhere because there's not a lot of space. And of course, like living in a full, 
functioning kind of apartment with a kitchen and bathroom we just have a lot of stuff and not a lot of place to put it so everything is slightly crammed but we definitely make it work and it's really key to just try to keep it as organized as possible in this next cabinet right here we have like our dishes and cups this is my roommate's shelf her dishes and cups that is my box of brownies I'm guilty I just didn't know where else to put it because our snack pantry is actually pretty full then this is my shelf these are my plates cups another tip that I could give you guys if you are in college is to buy bowls that are this Corel material this is the brand of dishes and bowls that I use because if you drop these they won't break they're almost like I'm not really sure what this exact material is but it feels like glass but it's not so if you drop these it's just going to bounce off the floor and it's not gonna break on you so if you're clumsy or if you don't want to bring like a lot of glass to college I definitely recommend Corel and then I forgot to show you guys what are in like these drawers and cabinets so here we just have our utensils cooking utensils spoon rest just typical kitchen stuff and then in here we just have more cooking supplies so we have pots pans dishwashing rack and then on this side we also just have some cleaning supplies and some sandwich bags over here so here's our fridge even though we are in a dorm I definitely would say we get a pretty standard sized fridge which is awesome we just have some little decorations some magnets this is my favorite quote ever if you guys remember it was in a frame in my last dorm tour but that frame actually broke when I was moving in so I just put it on the fridge and then I have a magnet of me and my family and my roommate put this little cute board where we write stuff to do throughout the week just a really quick look into our fridge and freezer it is stocked with stuff from Trader Joe's we absolutely love going to Trader Joe's if you guys want to see a video on my Trader Joe favorites definitely let me know I was thinking of doing one but since my channel is like all like makeup and beauty I wasn't really sure if a lot of people would like to see that but the bottom shelf is mine and then the top shelf is my roommates we just have a lot of stuff from Trader Joe's which I absolutely love but definitely let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that video and then a really quick look into the fridge again which is like 99% Trader Joe's <laughs> and the last cabinet for the kitchen is our pantry slash our snack cabinet as you guys can see I'm definitely really healthy no I'm kidding I love snacks you guys I love Oreos this is like Trader Joe's version of crunchy Cheetos I didn't get to try those yet but I just have a bunch of stuff in here that I have to open and eat I just like to do like big food shopping at a time because in the city it is hard to carry like so much food at once and go back and forth so I went with my mom the day after I moved in and we stocked up always really important for me to have boxes of pasta back there I have so many boxes of pasta as well as cans of tomato sauce so I can cook my own sauce and make dinner that's like a, one of my favorite dinners I always have that in my pantry so here's just an overview at some of the stuff in my pantry I just have so many like cans of sauce these are like little bean chips Cheez-Its and pancake mix and then down here this is our little kitchen table so we have these really cute placemats I'm not really sure where the pineapples are from like I said I will ask my roommate and link them down below if I can find them but underneath I just put my ones from last year as well just to kind of double up on the placemat and I think they look cute together these I got from H&M for a really good price then just as a centerpiece I brought these fake flowers from home and then back here are salt and pepper shakers our little pineapples I think they're so cute but I think that is everything in the kitchen now let me move on and just show you guys the bathroom really quick because I love our shower curtain and I've been wanting to share that with you guys there I am in the mirror I'm just wearing like really bummy clothes so excuse that but here's our shower curtain I thought was so cute and I couldn't wait to show you guys I got this from Target and it has little plants and cacti and flower on it and then also our bath mat is from Target as well I believe that isn't dirty it's just kind of like the paint is missing so just ignore that but I think this little set is so cute it makes the bathroom like way more homey so here is just a look inside of the bathroom underneath the sink that is where I store all of my toiletries extra paper towels and toilet paper in this first drawer I just keep things like my contact solution baby wipes my razor toothbrush in here I just have some extra toiletries 
these medicine band-aids my contacts some vaseline and loofahs and then in the last drawer down here is where i keep my hair stuff so hair brushes and then i have some extra conditioner and my straightener and all of that good stuff anything that has to do with my hair is in this bin right here it is a really basic bathroom but honestly just for the two of us i can't complain when i got here it was very clean it's a really good size and then this cart my roommate got from target this is a bunch of her stuff i just have like two things on the middle shelf right there but again i think this is also an awesome storage organization and tip if you guys are in a small space in a small apartment or if you have your own bathroom like this in your dorm i think that's something like this to hold all of your stuff is great because we do have a medicine cabinet but the medicine cabinet isn't in the best condition on the inside so we didn't want to put anything in there so my roommate got this cart for like 15 20 bucks from target and it is just a really great storage solution for bath products or even if you have an extra corner in your kitchen and you want to put like more snacks or extra paper towels whatever i think that's just a really great universal cart now i'm going to be walking into the actual living area from far away i'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of how the room is actually laid out but once i get closer i'm just going to be focusing on my side just to give my roommate her privacy and you know that's just her stuff i don't want to be flashing it all over my channel but just so you guys can have a layout of the room my bed is there my desk this is my closet and then that's her bed and then her desk and her dresser on this side of the room so let me just go a little closer and show you guys and we will talk about where everything is from how I wanted to decorate and all of that good stuff so the first thing in the living space is this mirror that I got from Target for five dollars so affordable and actually the quality of the mirror I think is pretty nice I don't think it's like distorted or anything moving on over this is my closet right here I think the closets are actually a pretty decent size for the dorm that we get so I'll open it up and show you guys how I organize my clothes and what is in my closet here's my closet when you open it up whoever lived here last year left two hooks on the door which I thought was really cool and helpful so I hung up my purses on either side if you guys are wondering how exactly I organize my clothes I just do it from tank tops short sleeves long sleeves jackets some pants and then I have jackets and sweatshirts and my robe at the bottom of my closet I don't have much just some extra pair of shoes I have some shower flip-flops and I bought a pair of boots just in case by some miracle it starts cooling down here in New York even though it's been like 85 to 95 degrees every single day so I don't think that it's gonna cool down anytime soon also I know it's a little dark back there but I just have my suitcase for when I want to travel home and then in this back corner right here I have my ring light and then some extra filming stands and my soft boxes back there because I haven't set those up yet up in the top of my closet here is my camera bag that is where I typically keep my camera I have my baseball caps my shower towels and then in the back I have my bulbs for my soft boxes because like I said I didn't get to set up any lighting yet this is the first video that I'm filming in my dorm so that is how I organized everything in my closet moving on over this definitely has to be my favorite part of my dorm this this is my bed and like my little living area I absolutely love how this turned out I do have a lot of the same decorations and bedding as last year I just added a couple new things so let me just show you guys really quick right here on the side of my door I have the shoe rack again I got this from TJ Maxx I love having this here I used to have my shoes on the bottom of my closet but it just took up a lot of space and I couldn't store stuff on the bottom of my closet so I just love having this here and I thought the pink and gray went with the rest of my decoration really well I will find that for you guys and link it down below then in this corner I'm hoping that once I set up my soft boxes this is going to be the corner where I put them just because I don't want to have to keep taking them down and setting them up every time that I want to film I'm thinking that I'm gonna stand my lights in that corner once I get that all set up so let me just start off with the decorations that are on this wall I love how this wall turned out so here are some Christmas lights that I hung up I'm not really sure if these were in my dorm tour last year I want to say that that they were though because I do remember getting these like a week or so after I moved in but I could be wrong so these are just a set of white Christmas lights that I got off of Target if you guys are wondering how I hung these lights in the dorm I have a command hook there and a command hook there and then they're just draping but I didn't want these to like hang back and forth so I just put a really tiny command hook on the wall right there and tucked the light so it wouldn't swing and it was more structured I just really like how the lights frame this space before I had these lights up 
up there was like this whole blank wall as you guys can see the ceilings in here are crazy crazy tall so it really just makes the space feel more like a cozy corner and frames out my area of the room which I love you guys might recognize these frames from when I was filming videos over the summer I did have these in my dorm last year and I decided to put them up in my room at home because I love how they looked behind me but I figured they would be really cute in my dorm again this year so I brought them back so you guys will probably be seeing a pretty similar background this year when I film my beauty videos I'm not exactly sure what my setup will be but it might be this this frame you go girl right here is from home goods I believe that the eyelashes and this bigger frame are from TJ Maxx and then this little pink frame that says do more of what makes you happy is also from home goods I love finding my canvases from home goods and TJ Maxx they always have such cute stuff and I feel like they're more like on top of like trends nowadays for sure like they have a lot of black gold a lot of makeup decor I found that and I also found this wake up and makeup pillow at TJ Maxx so they totally understand my aesthetic and I was so happy when I found those things on the wall directly above my bed I have these fairy lights with clips on them these are like those little battery powered lights on the wire let me get a little closer so I can show you guys it's a rose gold wire and then they have little lights and they came with these little clips to hang the picture. So I just have pictures of my family, my friends, my boyfriend. I have a picture of my dog up there, little Max, my brother Nick, you guys know Nick right there. Just a lot of different pictures. Like I said, I just love bringing little pieces of home with me to school because your girl gets really homesick. And these are just battery powered, so I have the actual little battery pack like hooked onto the wall right here so I could just switch them on and off. And that is what they look like. I got these from TJ Maxx as well, but you can get these anywhere and you could probably find something really similar on Amazon. So let me move down to the bedding because this has to be my absolute favorite part of my room. The actual bedspread itself is a Kate Spade comforter. It is just white and then it has like dark gray, light peach and pink pops of color. So this first pillow, Wake Up and Makeup, I got from TJ Maxx. I was so shocked when I found something like this in TJ Maxx, but I just love that they're kind of on trend with these things and I love this pillow and it's so nicely made I believe this was 20 bucks maybe this is the brand Tabitha Webb I could be wrong but it is so nicely made and I got this for 20 bucks from TJ Maxx as far as the other pillows go this one is just a lipstick this is like the only brighter pop of color I have in my room but I do really like it because it still is like cream and black that matches everything else but there is that little pop of red my boyfriend got me this for my birthday I believe last year the middle white fluffy pillow is from H&M and then the eat sleep contour of course you guys have seen a million times here on my channel and in my background is from time Los Angeles and then the other pillows are just the matching ones that came with the comforter and then my sleeping pillow directly next to my bed I have my desk and my windowsill area I am gonna show you guys a little bit of my view I believe I don't want to show you guys too much because just for privacy reasons but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of like what kind of view that I have I am higher up in this building so I think that the view is actually really nice so here is a little bit of my view here in the city you guys I think it is so beautiful Beautiful just to be able to wake up and see this type of view in the morning but like I said just for privacy reasons I'm not gonna zoom like all the way out but I definitely think that the view is absolutely beautiful I've never had a view like this before the past couple years I've lived in the city so it is really breathtaking but it's so pretty I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I see out my window on my actual windowsill I just closed the blinds so you guys can see a little bit better I have this little organizer from Target these are like five dollars and this is where I keep my okay that was where I kept my jewelry oh my god no I don't want to clean that up like I was saying before that fell over this is where I keep my jewelry so in the top here I just have like some little studs and earrings here's where I just keep like my little Pandora bracelet some origami owl necklaces and then in the bottom drawer I just keep some necklaces and then some jewelry boxes as well and then on the rest of the windowsill I just have some little knickknacks and decoration things that I thought looked really cute together so this New York mug is from Starbucks the J I believe is from Home Goods. Yep, it was from Home Goods. Again, really affordable. I love my getting my decoration stuff from like Home Goods and TJ Maxx. This You're My Person sign, I think, was also 
Yep, was also from TJ Maxx for $5.99. If you guys know where that's from, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And then lastly, this is the newest addition to my dorm. I got this aloe plant the other day at Trader Joe's. I really just wanted something like earthy, like a little pop of green to add to this area and to my dorm in general. So I thought the aloe would be perfect. It was really affordable. The whole plant was only $3.99 and I think it's pretty easy to take care of. I'm really not a huge plant person. I don't really know much about plants plants are taking care of them but I've heard that aloe really doesn't need that much care maybe like watering once a week so that is my little windowsill really simple but I thought everything looked really cute together and also would it be a Jackie Ann video without a siren in the background? And then also down by my bed, I have this cute little area rug. I believe this is from Home Goods or Marshalls as well. And I just like having this here because it really makes the area more homey as well as when I get out of bed, I don't have to put my feet down on the cold floors because these floors get really, really cold, especially when we have the air conditioning on all night. This little guy by my desk, you guys probably saw in my last video. I am so excited for this. I wanted to update you guys this storage for my makeup has been working out so well and it's just absolutely perfect so if you guys want to see how I organize my makeup and my whole thought process behind this little piece definitely make sure to watch my last video I will have it linked right here in a card on the top right but here is where I keep all my makeup if you guys haven't even seen that video yet but I definitely recommend that you do so just to give you guys a little sneak peek here is where I store all of my makeup goodies and I probably will be doing an updated college makeup collection sometime soon but here is just a little look inside of that for now. My desk is another favorite part of my room. I love how it turned out. I got some new pieces for it as well from last year, so let me just go into that now. Here is where I store my makeup brushes. I have the same Hello Gorgeous mug from TJ Maxx. This holds all of my face brushes, and then I have this little cup that says Flawless with the makeup brushes on it, also from TJ Maxx, and this holds all of my eye brushes as well as smaller face brushes, like something like the Real Techniques setting brush so there's where I keep my brushes and then for my sponges I just got this little glass cup from the dollar store just to stack them all in there this awesome mirror my boyfriend just got me for my birthday this is the Conair impressions natural light light up mirror it's like the most beautiful like dark pewter color I really like that it's not silver I think it pops off of the desk so well and it's so different so it has a switch back here let me see if I could grab it so when I'm doing my makeup and it's dark, it does pop on like a ring light. It is so bright. It doesn't look that bright now because the window is right behind it, but it makes such a difference when I'm doing my makeup. I have a hand sanitizer. This is the Up and Up brand with aloe. I love keeping hand sanitizer just to clean up my hands before or while I'm doing my makeup. And then I have this little brush cup, which I think is from Home Goods too. I don't think it still has a little sticker on it, but I believe that is from Home Goods as well. You guys guessed it. This frame is also from home goods it's just a black and gold frame I've literally had this since I've had both of these things since my first year of college so those were in my first dorm tour ever they've held up really well and they've gone with the decor of my room every year so I have those I just switched out the picture to a more recent photo of me and my boyfriend when we came to the city over the summer and then on the last corner of my desk I have this lamp this lamp I recently got from Target and it was only like $14.99 or something and it is such a nice lamp the lamp does have like a little divot in here for storing stuff which I think is awesome it is just so nicely made for only like $14 and the lampshade is a beautiful white shade it gives off a really decent amount of light when I need it and my favorite part about this lamp just going around the back I hope you guys can see is that it actually has a plug in the back not a USB it's like a full plug so I could charge my phone when I need to so I've just been absolutely loving this lamp I think it looks so sleek I think for the price point like I said it is so nicely made and I just have my favorite perfume sitting so my all-time favorite perfume is Victor and Rolf flower bomb I also have Marc Jacobs dot this is definitely more of like a more sophisticated nighttime scent I would say but I love how that smells this one right here is Taylor Swift enchanted wonderstruck I got that in like eighth grade and I absolutely love how it smells and then a thousand wishes by Bath and Body Works is like my favorite body spray from them so that is pretty much everything that I keep on the top of my desk I also just have my laptop my 
My brother just got me this laptop case from Amazon for my birthday. It's really pretty marble and then it has the marble keyboard as well. It's so nicely made, I love that. And then also on my desk, I just keep my YouTube notebook. Literally everything about my channel is in here, my paychecks, my subscriber count and then even just like video ideas. So here was like all of my notes on the ColourPop palette. This notebook is like everything and anything to do with my YouTube channel. So I always just like to leave it up here just if I have a video idea. All right, we are almost done. Just a couple more things to go through. Right on my desk chair, I just have my book bag. This is the Longchamp Le Pelage, I believe how you say it. I'm not exactly sure. This is the large tote bag, the black one with the brown handles. That is what I use as my backpack. And then we also do get a a set of desk drawers so I just have some tissues this is an empty coach box with some extra photos in it and then I keep my nighttime moisturizer there for just my skincare because this first drawer right here is actually mostly skincare and then some other necessities that I need for like when I'm going to bed or during the day I have two of these drawer organizers in here I believe they are called the Whitmore organizers you can get them off of Amazon and they have three slots each I did originally get these for my Alex drawers at home Home, but they didn't end up working out so I figured I would just bring them to my dorm and I thought they would work so I just have stuff like my witch hazel my retainer I have some face masks so I have my Sephora mud mask and the hydrating gel mask deodorant Mario Badescu facial spray just lots of like skincare and healthcare stuff gum glasses cleaner another mini hand sanitizer and then in the back I have these cotton squares and q-tips right there this was definitely one of my favorite aspects to my room to organize you guys know I love Love organizing drawers and I love acrylic organizers so this was definitely really fun to organize and then lastly in the bottom drawer I have some school supplies this one is a little bit all over the place not as neatly organized but it's just like random school supplies extra light bulbs extra command hooks my iPad these two things are really pretty right here I wanted to show you guys my boyfriend's family got this for me for my birthday so it's like a little stationary set and then this is like a little book for like making plans and keeping organized so when you open it you just get like all of these cute like notepads and sticky notes so just keep those always college necessities I love keeping organized with my work when I'm in college so just a bunch of random stuff this is a little desk calendar that doesn't start until 2019 I have notebooks some textbooks down there so pretty much just all like school supplies command hooks batteries stuff like that all right you guys so I really hope that you enjoyed seeing my dorm tour I love my dorm this year I feel so at home and cozy and I'm definitely ready to take on junior year so definitely let me know what you guys think of my dorm and let me know if you guys are living in dorms what your style is like and all of that good stuff so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam also if you guys don't want to miss out on any of my future videos make sure to have my notification bell on that way you'll get directly notified every single time I upload a new video I'm hoping to be more consistent with my uploads I think I kind of figured out like a filming day that I'm gonna film like two or three videos in the day for you guys and have those videos uploaded throughout the week but hopefully I will be back to uploading more often soon but I think that is all for this video as always thank you guys so much for watching and of course I will see you in my next one bye guys